an innovative idea, a major challenge, an ambitious project. In the first second it might sound strange that we at Continental want to produce tires out of dandelion, but it is a matter of fact that the root of a special kind of dandelions contains latex with a high amount of natural rubber. This was rediscovered by the Fraunhofer Institute for Molecular Biology and Applied Ecology and the Institute of Plant Biology and Biotechnology at the University of Münster in Germany. The project Rubin Dandelion Rubber Goes Industrial was launched together with the tires division at Continental in Germany. But it's not as easy as it looks at first glance since not all dandelions are suitable for making rubber. You need to use the Russian dandelion because, unlike your common dandelion, it produces a quality of rubber that can also be used in tire production. To give nature a helping hand, we needed to find out which genes promote rubber production and which ones hinder it. We were able to use this knowledge to breed plants that produce twice as much natural rubber as wild plants. When developing the Russian dandelion, it was essential for us to work with Continental very early on. We could obviously have cultivated dandelions here, but we couldn't have known what the quality of the rubber would have been like. With Continental, we have a congenial partner who gives us feedback, and at present, it can be said that dandelion rubber has the same level of quality as that of the rubber tree. In this respect, collaboration with Continental has been essential for the project's success. This success could revolutionize tire production in the future. Today, a typical passenger car tire contains about 10 to 30 percent natural rubber. In truck tires, you find 40 and more percent. Today and also in the future, we expect that it is not possible to substitute those amounts with synthetic materials. One glance at the trend in the number of cars worldwide makes it clear that the demand for natural rubber in the tire industry alone will steadily increase in the future. For this increasing demand, an ecological, economical and socially acceptable solution needs to be found. There is only a small area around the equator where you can plant natural rubber trees. To prevent the sacrifice of additional rainforest areas for the plantation of natural rubber trees, we are working in the project Rubin on industrializing the Russian dandelion for producing natural rubber. This undemanding plant can be cultivated in areas which are today known as marginal land, which are not used for agriculture today. This will also allow us to reduce the transport waste to our production sites and both factors will allow us to improve the carbon dioxide footprint and reach positive effects for the biodiversity. In the meantime, the project still faces some challenges. Many of them are of an entirely practical nature. During the seed harvesting process, for example, there are no standard machines suitable for handling dandelions. The suction device, similar to a vacuum cleaner, is specially designed and is already providing valuable information on subsequent industrial production. The plant breeder, Dr. Fred Eichmeyer, is proving himself to be a valuable project partner here. In cooperation with local herb growers, he is ensuring an increase in yield by means of precision breeding and the development of a cultivation process for sowing seeds and harvesting in field trials. Resourceful inventors are modifying their existing machinery, such as those used here to harvest the roots and then to clean the dandelions. The objective is always to find a simple yet effective way of extracting the sought-after dandelion root and its latex as a valuable raw material without causing damage or impurities. For this, the leaves also need to be separated from the roots. This is where a simple trick is used. Usually this large machine separates the roots from the sought-after spinach leaves. While the spinach is kept and its roots thrown onto the compost, this process is reversed for dandelions. Here the roots are subjected to further processing. First, the roots of the Russian dandelion, dried for transport, need to be softened in hot water. This task is carried out by the firm Zotz, also in Germany. As an innovative supplier mainly active in the ecological field, the company also constructs and builds mechanical processing systems, much like this mill, that was specially developed for Continental. 
Various tests were carried out to identify the specifications and parameters with which the dandelion roots can be most effectively ground. These tests also yielded important findings for subsequent industrial processing. It was a long process, but finally the sought-after raw material emerged. Natural rubber. The natural rubber is further processed in the research and development mixing room on Continental's plant sites. Project manager Dr. Carla Recker is present through the whole process. In the mixing lab we typically make the test compounds to compare different raw materials for the compounds itself. For this program we compare the dandelion natural rubber with conventional natural rubber to judge afterwards which is better, which is worse, which is comparable. This compound contains elements such as natural rubber, silica and carbon black, rapeseed and mineral oil, zinc oxide, sulfur, stearic acid, activation agents, antioxidants and UV inhibitor. Then the time has finally come, the moment we've all been waiting for. The green tire is cured at the Akim plant. In this process, the green tire is vulcanized in a mold at a temperature of around 392 degrees Fahrenheit. The rubber compounds then melt into vulcanized rubber and the elements are inextricably linked together. After about 10 minutes of being subjected to high pressure, the tire then has its final shape and its tread in the Winter Contact TS850P product line. It is a very special moment not to be missed by anyone involved in the project. In just a few seconds, we will see the first continental tires made from dandelion rubber. This is something to be proud of because even though Continental produces around 135 million tires a year, none of them even compare to this one. Even its own unique logo looks great. To show how relevant this project is, Continental has the Taraxicum trademark and figurative mark registered and legally protected. Continental has also created an impressive logo. However, before this prototype can prove itself on the road, it must first be put through the tire test. In this test, its individual properties are determined in different scenarios according to specific parameters and are compared with Continental's high quality standards. This is a task which the brand new Taraxicum tire passes with flying colors. Now, nothing stands in the way of it being tried on a test vehicle. That's a really exciting step for us having these first Dandelion tires on the car. The vehicle tests are the final step in evaluating a tire itself. They really tell you the truth of the tire performance. Here it goes! In detail we test different disciplines on the wet roads. We are performing on curvy roads, driving the road the fastest way. That is at the end determining the handling performance of a tire. However, it is safety that is Continental's top priority. For dandelion tires, this means that they also need to provide the best possible performance equal to that of comparable production tires during the standard brake test. The experienced test drivers will not go easy on the tires on dry ground either. They really put the tires through their paces. For the handling test, it's very important that the driver has a good feeling for the tire itself and for the safety of the car, that in emergency situations he has a chance to make a maneuver in a stable way, in a safety way. That's very important for a good feeling of the tire itself and also to have some sort of fun with the tire. In December 2014, in Finnish Lapland, close to the Arctic Circle, there are constantly low temperatures, vast and well-prepared surfaces, and impressive handling tracks through snow-covered forests. These are the ideal test conditions for Continental's winter tires because they contain a particularly high percentage of natural rubber. The Taraxicum tires are put through their paces too when it comes to grip, breaking in the snow, slalom, and handling. Once more, the new prototype proves that its performance is right up there with its colleagues from the Winter Contact TS850P production range.
As an initial assessment, I can say at Continental we are very satisfied. At this point, we owe our project partners a very special thanks. Together with them, we have realized a small series of Taraxagum test tires that at this point meet fully our performance and safety requirements. With this project, Continental really does have its finger on the pulse of the times. In May 2014, the joint Rubin project won the prestigious Green Tech Award in the automobility category. Just one year later, in June 2015, the project's leading scientists were awarded the prestigious Joseph von Fraunhofer Prize. We are at Continental and with the whole project team very proud to have reached those awards. It shows that we are on the right track with our innovative ideas. It also shows that it's not only honored by the general public, but also by the highest scientific circles. But we are far from being ready. We still have to solve a large number of challenges and answer a lot of questions in order to reach serious production of Taraxagum in five to ten years. And then to introduce this new raw material into serious production. But with the excellent project team and the highly motivated internal team, I'm very optimistic that we will reach this goal.